Hello from Sydney, which I'm sure all of you know is not part of Southeast Asia. Um, this has been a bit of a detour on my trip and I'm not part of the original plan, but um, it has been very enjoyable nonetheless. Um, it's interesting because most of the trip uh, in Asia has been, you know, like going towards um, things that are kind of other and similar to, to me and my experience and, and really quite different. Um, and coming to Sydney has been kind of the opposite because uh, yeah, it's been kind of going towards things that are, are a little bit more familiar um, because there are a huge number of things that, that remind me of Canada. Um, you know, some of the buildings, the food, and, and things like that. Um, and also, I, a big reason why I came was because I wanted to see uh, my family who I'd not seen in um, like 18 years. Uh, so there was a lot of kind of you know reminiscing and thinking about childhood memories. And, um, it took me like maybe a day I suppose to kind of get accustomed to the fact that you know um, everybody kind of looks like me and they talk like me and they speak English mostly and um, yeah so that was that was kind of a, a, almost like a kind of reverse sort of uh, culture shock I guess um, before I came to Sydney the only thing that I really knew about it was um, you know, the kind of iconic uh, harbour skyline and the opera house that you can see behind me. Um, and uh, so when I finally saw it, my remarks were just that it looks small. I thought it would be bigger than it, that it was smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, much, I think, to the dismay of, of my friend who's been very, very generous in showing me around. Um, so, so, yes. Uh, um, a really, so far, fun and, uh, and enjoyable detour. I'm at Sydney's iconic Bondi Beach, um, where it is currently fall in the Southern Hemisphere, which means that uh, it's about kind of 19 or 20 degrees. Um, and that means that there are kind of fewer, um, you know, kind of muscly men uh, and, and probably women, uh, you know, walking around and um, so I think that the kind of like fall beach experience in Sydney is, is probably a little bit different than, than what one would see here in the summer. Um, it is, it still kind of astounds me that uh, in the capital city of a country you can have places that are just so, so beautiful. Like, um, you know, there's lots of restaurants and cafes and it's very touristy and and I expect in the summer it's really busy, but it doesn't let like, nevertheless it's a really it is a really ostensibly beautiful uh, place and very um, really quite extraordinary. Uh, and like we went to the Blue Mountains a couple days ago, which are kind of like an hour and a half from Sydney and like Sydney Center, and again just uh, I really was kind of. Oh, not overwhelmed, but very uh, kind of in, almost awe-inspired by the scale of of the of the mountains. Because I suppose I've been in Asia where they're kind of they're sort of smaller and they don't kind of go on for for as long. You know, you get these kind of like little ranges and then they and then they stop. Um, so seeing these mountains that just go on like for you know, a really, really long time and are just huge. Um, yeah, it's, it seems it seems impressive to me. Um, and much more on the scale of kind of like North America, Canada, that I suppose I've perhaps um, not seen as much of uh, recently being in Asia and Europe. Um, so, yeah, I, I really have enjoyed kind of discovering all of the nature. The rest of the, of the city part is kind of city-esque and, and is nice um, but as a as a person who spends a lot of time in really big cities it has been a, a really ex you know really nice experience and um, I definitely can understand why people would would want to live here